Hi everyone, this is Arad from English for Everyone and today in this video I am going to talk about different tenses in English. Today I'm not going to talk about one of them. In previous videos I have talked about simple past, simple future or other tenses as the names are over here. But in this video I am going to talk about them all, all of them in one go. You know, learning the tenses is one thing, not mixing them is another thing. We learn them one after another. We learn simple past, past progressive, past perfect and the other things. And then, when we want to use them, we get them confused and we forget which was which and where to use which. So, in this video today, I am going to list them I am going to tell you, we are not going to talk about usage and how to pronounce them and these kind of things. We are going to work on the mechanics. What makes a simple past a simple past? What makes a present progressive, present perfect progressive, present perfect progressive? What is inside that makes it different from others? And then, when we have difficulties, when we mix them up and we forget which one was which and where to use what, then this can help. So let's start. Each of these, each of these terms brings something, adds something to verb, okay? Then my, let's say my verb is help, okay? If I put help over here, I mean, if it is simple past, it has one Time, you know, the spelling differs, it changes, so that shows that it is simple past. If it goes over here, and that is past progressive or past continuous, that's the same thing, past continuous, that has another thing, that, that is written in a different way, and the rest. Okay, so now let's take help as our example and talk about these things. The first thing is that each of these add something. To the verb. Past always adds ed or the second form of the verb to the help to the main verb. Okay, I'll give you some examples. Okay, so my verb is help. Help is going to go through all these tenses. When help comes here, takes ed because it is a past one. Okay, so your verbs are the second form of the verb. The fir first form of the verb is the infinitive without two. The simple form of the verb. The second form is either the, the same verb taking ed or the second form. I have a list of them in one of my videos. If you want to check that, you can do so by clicking on the i on the corner. So help coming here changes to helped. If my verb is an irregular verb, then we do not have ed and we have to use the second form. Let's say my verb is go, then that is the second form of go, which is went. Went is a past, simple past. Okay, coming here, we need to use the simple form of the verb. And I say help. I help means something that happens regularly, every day. But if I am talking about he, she or it, third person singular, then I need to add s. And that's why I have helps over here. So, she helps, I help. And... I helped, okay, so that's past, these two are present, and will gets added to your verb, whatever your verb is, you add will, and then you have changed it to simple future, and that is suitable to be used for, to talk about future. Now, these guys also, not simple, but the other ones, add things to the sentence. Let's talk about those. What is a progressive verb? A progressive verb a progressive sentence has a progressive verb inside and a progressive ver verb is to be plus verb plus ing okay so i have a verb let's say my verb is help okay help plus ing that is helping that shows progression progressive that shows that it is continuous now i need something to show the past as well okay so i need the second form of the Verb. But my verb is busy with ing, helping. Okay, I can't say helped anymore. Okay, so this 
ED or second form needs to go on to be. My to be takes the second form or past tense, okay? And my main verb takes the ing. Then the combination of to be past com, uh, past to be plus verb ing is past progressive. Was or were in this combination shows the past tense, okay? So I'm uh, looking at this. I know that this is about past. How do I know that? Because I have was or were over here. Because help is not helping me showing the tense because it is it doesn't have anything to talk about present or future lots of my students make a mistake when I tell them okay what is helping they say that is present progressive no that is not present progressive that is only progressive it is not present because it might be over here after was aware so what shows that helping is present or past is the verb to be so your to be is showing the time okay and your verb ing which is helping in this case is showing the progression not the tense okay so helping is not your verb was helping is your verb okay so helping is a drowned it's just like it's it's a name okay so it's like saying what is Janet is that past or future Janet is a name okay helping is also a name when it is alone but was helping or were helping is a verb and has time and time is over here now it's time to talk about present progressive so we learned that progression progressive is over here verb ing like this helping this is progressive so I need progressive over here as well so in this line I am going to have helping doesn't matter which time past present or future doesn't matter I need helping because of progressive okay but what changes is the what well, from past to present or to future is the verb to be and the present form of the verb to be is am is are so am is are helping is the verb that we use for to talk about present progressive or present continuous okay so we have made the continuous form we just need to change this to future to have future progressive here we go we have the future form of the verb to be which is will be we, we just mentioned that we need will to show that this is future and I've got it here it is okay so in this column I will have will wherever I go okay I will have will in this one okay in this line i'll always have ing because we are talking about progressive okay so this is the formula this is i, I just i told you this is the mechanics okay it might be it might help you to recognize them but not to speak okay of course if you get them in if you take them inside then it will help when you speak when you when you write something you can check yourself but these are needed we need to draw a border between the tenses so that they are clear in our mind we need to make sure we're not going to mix them up all right so will be is the future form of the verb to be and to be shows the time this is future and helping over here it telling me that this is progressive now let's talk about perfect in three times the thing that shows that my verb is a perfect one is past participle of the verb what is that that is third form of the verb for example when I say go went gone gone is the past participle see saw seen seen is the past participle or help helped 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 is the past participle okay so I will need the perfect form of the verb which is the third form of the verb I am going so in this line we're going to have the third form of the verb but well, what changes is the time which is shown in the verb to have okay so I change have to past and I get had have in present is have or has and have in future is will have and that is it let me write them down here we go I have had helped have or has helped will have helped 
in this line. I am using held over here and this shows us this is a perfect one because I am using the present uh, the past participle of the verb. But this is helped. Isn't it the same thing as helped over here? Yeah, the spelling is the same, but it appears after had. This one doesn't. Okay, so held, if comes alone, is the past tense. It's simple past. But if it comes after hell, had, or any type of have, okay, present or future form of the verb, to have, then that help, or whatever the verb is, is the third form of the verb, not the second, okay? That's not the past tense anymore, that is the past participle, because it appears after had, have, has, or will have, okay? That is the formula, that's how we recognize help, help from help, okay? Now we know why we use helped, that is here to show that this is a perfect tense, okay? This is perfect, and why do I have had over here? Because had contains the time, it shows that it is past, okay? Past is in to have. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at these three once again. We have helped, and that is because it is perfect. So, because these are also perfect, we need helped in these two as well. Helped, helped. This is common in these three, because they are all perfect. And now, but they are not the same. They are past, present and future. And to show the, these three in my verb phrase, I need to change the verb have. And that's why I have had over here, because had is the past tense of the verb to have. And the rest. Will have is the future form of the verb to have. So they are there to show the tense. They are there to show the timing. Okay? So, one verb, one action. If my verb is busy with ing, I can't add ed to that, or s to that, or other things to that. Okay, the same thing over here. Because my verb is busy with the past participle, with the third form of the verb, I can't you add something else to help to show that this is past. I can't add something to help to show that this is present. This is busy. This is the capacity is full. Okay. So a helping verb comes to help, and that is have. Have in this line shows the time. To be in this line shows the time. And now I have got perfect progressive, which is which can be past, present, or future. So in this case. I need something to show perfect, which is past participle, okay? So past participle always appears after the verb to have. And also, it sh needs something to show that this is progressive, otherwise have pp to have pp is the same thing, isn't it? So I need to add something else to show the progression as well, and that is to be plus verb ing. Okay, now my verb should have a form of have, a form of past participle, a form of verb to be, and the verb ing. Okay, what is my verb? My verb is help. Help is going to take one of these. I said, one verb can take just one of them, and then the capacity is full. Okay, my verb gets busy with one of these. Okay, when I have ing to be, have, and past participle, what my verb, what the verb takes, always is ing. Verb likes ing. So our verb, which is help, is going to take ing away and helping will appear in our verb phrase. Okay, I'm going to have ha helping in my verb phrase in each of these, in the three, because this is progressive, okay? To show the progression, I need helping. Doesn't matter which of these, past, present, or future, they all are going to have helping. Now, what is remaining is have, past participle, and verb to be. One of these should take the second form to show that this is a past, uh, past perfect progressive. One should take simple form or the 
S to show that this is present or will to show that this is future and that is have. So have is going to show the time of the sentence. Okay, so have, the past form of have is ha uh, had. The present form is ha have or has and the future form is will have. I'm going to write them down. Okay, now I have had which shows that this is past. I have helping which shows that this is progressive but it is not clear that this is perfect it is not perfect yet to show the perfect part of that I need a past participle of the verb to be okay so I am going to use the past participle of verb to be and then the verb phrase is complete what is the past, uh, past participle of the verb to be that is been here we go that's the result had been helping had shows the past tense been shows the third form of the verb of the verb to be been third form of verb to be means that two things one third form shows that is perfect to be is a part of the verb to show the progression okay so had been and then helping is the main part to show the progression so, had, past, perfect, progressive, present, perfect, progressive, future, perfect, progressive. You see, whatever has the name of future on it, has will in okay? You see will over here, 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 and here. So, whatever has will is a future tense, okay? Future simple, future progressive, future whatever, okay? You see future in will. And then, talking about these ones, when I have progressive, I have to be and verb ing. It doesn't matter what tense it is. I have to be over here, this is to be, this is to be, and this is to be. I have ing, and you can see ing over here. And talking about perfect, we always see the past participle, helped, helped, helped. This is also perfect, so I have the third form of the verb to be. The, third, the past participle, third form of the verb, is on the verb to be in this case because my verb is busy with ing now it's your turn try different verbs and see if you can change it to different forms you might think that oh, okay what what is it for and then how can this help just try that then you then you are building a teacher inside yourself if you get stuck somewhere and you don't know if you have made the right sentence, you do not need to ask someone else. You have the formula over there, okay? Or you can take a photo or whatever you have written. And then, if you are writing something, then you can check yourself. You can check your writing, check the things that you have said or the things that you're going to say. And you can check, see if you are using the right tense. Is it what I want to say? Is it what I mean? Okay, if you have any questions about these guys, just comment it below this video. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.